The South African citizens, who are mostly students living in Ukraine, were woken up on Thursday by loud explosion sounds. They were told to evacuate their premises. Most of the students went to Ukraine to study medicine, but after the attack of Ukraine by Russia, they have found themselves living in fear and hiding in subways and basements. South Africa's Butlarin Donga, who comes from Zanin Limpopo province in South Africa, who is also a medical student in Ukraine, was heard on Twitter space hosted by Expert South Africa pleading with anyone that could help them get out of Ukraine and perhaps head back home. The students plead with the government that eventually when they evacuate their embassy staff, they should please not be left behind. They also express their frustration with the language barrier that it will become very difficult if the South African government does not intervene. The students express their disappointment in the South African government for not acting on time and evacuate its citizen on time just like other countries. They plead with the government to make arrangements with Ukraine's neighboring countries to open their borders so they can find a place of safety there. DERCO, Department of International Relations and Cooperation of South Africa, are helping out the citizens of South Africa. It has also been reported that they have communicated that A.J. Grunewald, the South African ambassador of Ukraine, has been in touch with all the South African citizens and is trying his utmost best to keep them safe and accounted for. Our thoughts and prayers goes to all the African and other people at large during this trying time. This is African Way. Let us know what you think in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.